Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. I don't understand this person, so they're crazy. That's bullshit. These people are not crazy, they're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick. So Kanye West has angered the Kardashian clan, and in all honesty, I'm actually afraid for your boy. But before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of this tea. Now let's get back into it. Your boy Kanye West has set Twitter ablaze. He has been going off on the Kardashians. He's admitted to wanting to divorce Kim a long time ago. He's also calling her mother Kris Jenner, Kris Jong-un, pretty much comparing her to Kim Jong-un. Kanye is going ham, and like I said before, I'm really afraid for him at this point. So let's go back to how this all started. Okay, so Kanye West hit Twitter on July 4th announcing that he was running for president in the 2020 election. Now he entered late in this election and went independent under his own party called the Birthday Party. Now Kanye made his first presidential campaign appearance in North Charleston, South Carolina, where he made some statements that took everyone by surprise. The first was this. When Harriet Tubman well, Harriet Tubman never actually freed the slaves. She just had the slaves go work for other white people. Y'all, we leaving right now. Now, I think the conversation that really took the Kardashians by surprise was the fact that Kanye West brought up he and Kim's daughter, Northwest, pretty much stating that the option of abortion was placed on the table. Take a listen to this. All right. She said she was pregnant, and for one month, and two months, and three months, we talked about her not having this child. She had the pills in her hand. Do people know these pills where you take the pills? And if you take it, it's a wrap. The baby's gone. And God said, if you my bitch, I'm gonna with yours. And I called my wife. And she said, we're gonna have this baby. I said, we're gonna have this child. Now, as open as the Kardashians are with their reality show and all of that, there are certain aspects of their lives that they would like to keep under wraps, and I think that this was one of them. Now, according to a source that spoke with People Magazine, said that Kim was shocked that Kanye spoke about North at the rally, and that Kim is furious that he shared something so private. The source also adds that Kim Kardashian West's main concern is how her husband's revelation about their private life may affect their children, North who's seven, Saint who's four and a half, Chicago two and a half, and Psalms who is 14 months old. The source goes on to say that Kim loves her children tremendously and she wants to protect them. Her favorite thing in the world is being a mom. Well, Kanye blurting this out upset Chris and Kim, and according to Kanye, they tried to have him committed. Kanye, strangely enough, took to Twitter and showed that he searched for Holly Berry's name online and then Jennifer Lawrence, and then he put up the thinking emoji. He then posted Michael Jackson's video, They Don't Really Care About Us. Then he says, Chris, don't play with me. You and that Kanye are not allowed around my children. Y'all tried to lock me up. Everybody knows the Get Out movie is about me. I put my life on the line for my children that North's mother would never sell her sex tape. Then he types in Drake's name in a thinking emoji. Then he says, come and get me. This is the exodus like Pusha T said. Then he says, on God, Shia is cap. Kim tried to bring a doctor to look with the doctor. If I get locked up like Mandela, y'all know why. Shia was supposed to do the first Yeezy Gap shoot and he never showed up. Anna went to always show me love, but when I told her I was going to Gap, she looked at me like I was crazy. Then she called back kissing my ass. Chris and Kim call me now. The West children will never do Playboy. 
West. Then he does a search for righteous indignation. And then he says, I love my wife. My family must live next to me. It's not up to E or NBC anymore. NBC locked up Bill Cosby and was trying to fly to Wyoming with a doctor to lock me up like on the movie Get Out because I cried about saving my daughter's life yesterday. Then early this morning in some now deleted tweets, Kanye said, all positivity when the devil attacks, even if I never see my kids till they are 18 because you believe white people on God, North will never be exploited by the system of white supremacy. And then he posts white supremacy at its highest, no cap. Then he posts a text message that he sent to Kris Jenner and said, this yay, you ready to talk now or you still avoiding my calls? Then he says, this yay, you wanna talk or go to war? Then he said, MJ told you about Tommy before they killed him. Kim saved my daughter's life in the name of Jesus. It's God's choice only. I will live for my children. Chris, I'm in Cody. If you're not planning another one of your children's Playboy shoot, come and get me. Larza, which is Scottie Pippen's ex-wife. In the name of Jesus, no more cap. Then he posts Drake's name with a thinking emoji. Should I name more? Then he reposts his tweet about MJ and said, we can handle this like gentlemen. They tried to fly in two doctors to 5150 me. I've been trying to get divorced since Kim met with Meek at the wall door for prison reform. I got 200 more to go. This my lady tweet of the night. Chris Jong-un, Lil Baby my favorite rapper, but he won't do a song with me. Meek is my man and was respectful. That's my dog. Kim was out of line. I'm worth $5 billion and more than that through Christ. But y'all ain't listened to MJ and now y'all believe them? Chris and Kim put out a statement without my approval. That's not what a wife should do. White supremacy, says the future president. Now the 5150 that Kanye was referring to is the section of the Welfare and Institution Code which allows a person with a mental illness to be involuntarily detained for a 72 hour psychiatric hospitalization. A person on a 5150 can be held in a psychiatric hospital against their will for up to 72 hours and Kanye obviously was not having it. Now, as far as what Meek and Kim had going on, Kanye didn't give much context to it, but he does seem like he's still cool with Meek and Meek handled himself as a gentleman. He makes it seem as if Kim was the one in the wrong with that situation. I don't feel like Kanye is going to get any help from the Kardashians and the Jenners. I don't feel like they really want to help him. I think they're really just trying to commit him to get him to shut his mouth. Now, his recently, right before we got on this podcast, there was an article in People magazine that said that the family, again, is concerned. And I don't believe that they're concerned. I don't think they give up. That's a whole, that's another like, topic, right, too. I want right to talk away. About. I am putting it out there right now. Kim Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian, Courtney Kardashian, Rob Kardashian, Kris Jenner. You don't give a f about Kanye West. I'm telling you Agreed. right now, I'm asserting it. I'm no. not in y'all house. Y'all don't give a about Kanye West. No well, way. And you let can't me make you me believe too. that. No, I, I don't believe it. I'm just telling you what the article said. I agree with you actually 100% because there is no way that my husband would be out here making a fool of himself on such a public platform and I'm just sitting at home posting pictures on my Instagram and stories. Well, I guess after hearing some possible backlash, Kim decided to take to her Instagram and she said this, I understand Kanye is subject to criticism because he is a public figure and his actions at times can cause strong opinions and emotions. He is a brilliant but complicated person who on top of the pressures of being an artist and a black man who experienced the painful loss of his mother and has to deal with the pressures and isolation that is heightened by his bipolar disorder. Those who are close with Kanye know his heart and understand his words sometimes do not allow with his intentions living with bipolar disorder does not diminish or invalidate his dreams and his creative ideas no matter how big or unobtainable they may feel to some that is part of his genius and as we all witness many of his dreams have come true as many of you know Kanye has bipolar disorder anyone who has this or has a loved one in their life who does knows how incredibly complicated and painful it is to understand I've never spoken publicly about how this has affected us 
best at home because I am very protective of our children and Kanye's right to privacy when it comes to his health. But today, I feel like I should comment on it because of the stigma and misconception about mental health. Those that understand mental illness or even compulsive behavior know that the family is powerless unless the member is a minor. People who are unaware or far removed from this experience can be judgmental and not understand that the individual themselves have to engage in the process of getting help no matter how hard family and friends try. We as a society talk about giving grace to the issue of mental health as a whole. However, we should also give it to the individuals who are living with it in times when they need it the most. I kindly ask that the media and public give us compassion and empathy that is needed so that we can get through this. Thank you for those who have expressed concern for Kanye's well-being and for your understanding. With love and gratitude, Kim Kardashian West. Now, Dr. Amani, who is a psychiatrist and also a part of the Married to Medicine LA cast, says Kanye is very ill. This is mania. I understand how frustrating this can be, but this is truly what bipolar disorder can look like. It's sad that he has no insight currently to get better. I hope he does find help and soon. One person that actually understands what Kanye is going through is Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle took a jet to meet with Kanye in his time of need, and that's actually what Kanye needs right now. Now, Dave Chappelle went through his own issues, and he just escaped it all and went to Africa, and everybody was like, you know what? Dave is crazy. He left his show. He did this. He did that. But Dave actually understands what Kanye is going through. Brotherhood is real. Love is real. Wait a second, I'm still not smiling, bro. I like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just trying to think of the question. We, we, need a, we need some kind of some joke, something like just something to like lift our spirits. Shit. Shit, I don't know. I'm still on my first cup of coffee, nigga. I got all right, let me think of a good joke. <laughs> I'm praying that Kanye can get the help that he needs. He needs a good support system around him. And unfortunately, I do not think it's the Kardashians. But what I need to do is hear from you. What do you think about Kanye spilling all the tea about the Kardashians and him wanting to leave Kim and everything that's going on with the family? And what do you think about his mental health at this point? Leave a comment and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.